Hello Governor's Club and welcome back to video number two in our series of at home videos to work on our serve. So yesterday we worked on our tossing skill. And we used a drill to kind of build that skill to create some consistency in how we can let go of that ball. Today's video, what we're going to talk about is the next step in that, which is the takeaway. Now I'm doing all this without a racket because I want you to be able to feel how you're making these movements with your body only. We'll add the racket later, but right now, if we can feel things with how we're moving with our body and our hand, we're not going to be distracted by that racket, which sometimes can be very difficult to uh, make something happen when we're trying to learn something new. So, to review, yesterday, we were here, letting go of the ball about shoulder high, and this created a much more stable, consistent toss that goes up and down. Today, we're going to talk about our stance. So, typically what we see with people is they'll face the court and they'll face their target. Now, a number of things happen here that are very restrictive and they can kind of hurt our ability to generate power and consistency. So when I face the court, it's tough for me to wind up and this is the typical takeaway that we see from here. Okay, I'll do it one more time. I raise my hand forward and then up to get it into a back position for me to try to reach up on. Now, I'm just gonna simply turn my body sideways and I'll talk about the stance tomorrow. But now that I'm sideways, I can reach back behind me and wind up and coil, which is going to give me a lot more energy to release at my serve. See how static I am here? See the movement I can make there. Okay, again, all this will be broken down as we go through these series of videos. So for today, we're going to take yesterday's skill building exercise, which is our toss, and you can see, and I did this yesterday, I was facing sideways when I did this. Now, I'm going to definitely make sure that I'm doing this this way, but I'm going to start from my ready position. So I'm going to start, again, no racket, just my hand, hands together, and I'm holding my dominant hand, which is my racket hand, in a handshake position, so it's pretty straight. Some people will have it more open, so it'll be a little bit closed. Other one's okay, we just want to basically have our hand in a shaking position. So I've got my hand and tossing hand together. Now watch the movements, okay, because two things are going to happen here. First, the dominant hand goes down. And when I'm taking it down, you can see my palm is facing my leg. I'm not taking it back like this. I'm not doing this. It's going down and then facing me, okay? From the side, this is what this looks like. So I'm serving this direction now. Hand goes down, and now it's facing me. Now you can see what I was doing with my left hand, my tossing hand at the same time. Okay, once again, now I'm facing you. I'm serving towards you. See, this hand comes down with it a little bit, but then it starts to raise up. Now what you see here is, this is now toss the ball while my hand is down here. Now this is a great way to load or coil. Again, we'll get to that later, but this is going to be a very crucial move to be able to allow that to happen. Okay, once again, serving this direction. So I'm actually going to practice this movement. Now, once I've done that a you know, good number of times, we'll say 20 is our magic number for all these repetitions. Now I'm going to combine that with yesterday's skill building exercise. So I take it here. And then I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to practice letting go of this toss when it's about shoulder high. Now I don't need a super high toss with this. I just need to practice the release of the ball with my right hand going down. And if I can catch it. Just like the exercise, then I know I've done a good toss. So hopefully you've got some higher ceilings than what I just did. We may start to move these videos outdoors, but uh, hopefully this information helps you and practice this, and we'll see you next time.